Hi, I'm Brett Martin from Zanata Consulting, and this is an overview of Zoho projects taken from our 2022 webinar. If you like this video, be sure to click on the button below and subscribe. Thanks for stopping by. As we always do, we're going to take you through the home screen and let you know what you can expect when working Zoho projects. Um, here you can set your dashboard. You've got a lot of different ways you can customize your dashboard when you're working Zoho projects, but your main home screen, you'll set it up to show you what you would like to see. Moving on down uh, the left hand side here, you've got a feed, what projects have been created, who's working on projects, what tasks were completed, all those kind of things. You can view this for all projects or you can go ahead and view it for a specific project if you want to just kind of get a feed as to where things are going in that project as well. Um, you also have your reporting tab and you know here we're looking at your basic Gantt chart. Um, that's where you kind of have a list of all of the tasks, all of the dependencies, um, and then, you know, as they waterfall on down the sides, you can kind of get a timeline as to when they're due, when they should be complete, all of those kind of things as well. And, you know, other than Gantt charts, you can just have a standard project timeline Gantt chart, research utilization, uh, there's just a lot of different reporting you can do based around that. And that's kind of looking at all of your projects when you're on this reports tab. So it's all of your open projects and how they're flowing through. Uh, it also has a very nice calendar view, one way of looking at all your tasks when they're due. Um, at the top in the blue, you've got all the milestones and uh, for each for each of the, the different tasks, then underneath you've got all the tasks that are associated with those milestones. And you can also go ahead and look at all of your projects and then dive into a specific project itself. You can look at all of your open tasks that are associated with a particular product or all of your different projects that are out there. Um, you can go ahead and view this in your kind of classic list view, or if you want, a lot of people prefer Kanban views. Zoho allows you to do that as well. You can just move into a Kanban mode, and that way you can then progress your various tasks along using the Kanban uh, methodology. And then moving kind of right along, you can go into milestones. So what is a milestone? A milestone is basically a grouping of a bunch of tasks. So you've got this deep discovery milestone and it has the addition, the task list that are associated with that milestone. And then you can move into timesheets. We're going to get into this quite in quite a bit of detail uh, a little bit further along here. But, you know, let's say you wanted to go ahead and do sorry <clears throat> and then you can also uh, go ahead and look at all of your recent projects so this is kind of a view of all the projects you're recently working on so in crm you've got a little button down in the lower right hand corner where you can look at all the recent you know contacts accounts and deals you're working on uh, here they're kind of kind of keep all your recent projects down running along the left hand side and you can also then go ahead and look at all the tasks that are associated with that and you can clicking into a task, you can see all the association with that particular task, how many, how long it's expected to be worked on, when it's due, all of those kind of things as well. And when you want to go in, you can leave comments on the task. You can log hours on the task as well. So all that kind of runs across a separate sub menu across the top. Um, if we look at Logging hours, we'll talk about that again a little bit further because we're going to kind of dive into that. Uh, you can go ahead and pull up your Gantt reports on any of the projects, all of the projects. You know, in this case, we're looking at a particular client build out. So different ways of accessing the different uh, different projects that you're working on. So there's a lot of redundancy here from looking at all projects to individual projects, but it's all managed on this left-hand side menu. Hey, thanks so much for watching our video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that subscribe button below so you won't miss any of our videos. Thanks again for stopping by.